what gives you opportunities is other people doing dumb things. And uh, it, it's that. Uh, Warren Buffett, founder and CEO of the say, eighth largest company in the world, always mentioned that he kept the same investment strategy from the day he started at 10 years old, with $120, up to 83 years old and $900 billion later to this date. The man considered to be the world's greatest investor mentioned that he followed an easy strategy featuring five golden rules that any investor can follow no matter your experience. It is these five easy rules that we're going to dive deep into step by step so that you can apply them to your investment strategy and benefit from them. Starting with rule number five, which is don't always swing. He adopted this rule from the book The Science of Hitting by Ted Williams, where the author explains the science behind the strike zone in 77 circles, and depending on the trajectory of the pitch, he would decide if it was a swing or not. Since reading this book, Warren Buffett now applied this rule on every single move he does on the market. Because compared to baseball, where you have only three strikes, investing is a no-strike field, which means you can watch a thousand opportunities go by and only swing three, two, or even only one of them. But still, hit a home run, even if people call you an idiot for waiting so long. Warren Buffett explains that with time, people tend to rush with their money, wanting to chase quick returns, but Buffett suggests to build yourself a circle of comprehensive and only focus on that. I'm in a no-called strike business, which is the best business you can be in. If, if, if the count on Ted went to 0-2 or 1-2 and, and that ball came across the plate in, the, in that corner where he only batted 235, he still had to swing or he would have been called out. In investing, there are no called strikes. I can look at a thousand different companies and I don't have to be right on every one of them or... or even 50 of them or even 25 of them. I just, the, the, only, the only way I can have a strike call is if I swing and miss. So I can pick the ball I want to hit and I can wait there and the pitcher can throw pitch after pitch and if they are not in my sweet spot, I don't have to swing. The problem, of course, is that if you have an audience that say is yelling, swing, you bum, while you're waiting there with a bat on your shoulder time after time, you may get tempted to swing at the wrong pitches. So you have to, that you don't psychologically get in the position where you feel well, you have to swing at pitches that really aren't in your sweet spot. The rule in Warren Buffett's book of wisdom about investing is one of his most famous words that people still use very frequently these days. Be fearful when others are greedy, and be greedy when others are fearful. For some people, the bear market is a source of panic and stress. But for Buffett, he knows since his youngest ages that this is a phenomenal opportunity to buy because the market is at an incredible discount. A good business is the one that earns a high rate of return on, on tangible assets. <laughs> Very simple. <laughs> That's pretty simple, yeah. The very best businesses are the ones that earn a high rate of return on tangible assets and, and grow. Even ones that don't grow, uh, if they earn a high return on tangible assets, and then of course if you don't pay too much, they can be a good investment. They're a good business to start with by the high returns. If you pay too much for them, you can turn a, a good business into a bad investment. But if you pay an appropriate price, uh, you, can, uh, you can do all right. Now the, the big mistake which we made in the early years was to try and buy a bad business at a really cheap price. And, uh, it took me about 20 or 30 years to figure out that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> In the investment world, if you're emotional, you're not going to do as good as people who have tolerance against it. Even if you develop skills and talent into this business over time, one non-controlled emotion in a day can have a huge impact on the success of your investments. Stocks have no feelings about you, so you should not have in return. He mentioned various times in his annual meetings with Berkshire Hathaway that it is important to go against the crowd when it comes to investing and take advantage of market emotions in order to make successful investments. Investing is a word of psychology rather than intelligence, and he believes that when others are feeling greedy and overly optimistic, driving up asset prices, it's time to be cautious and fearful of overpaying. Conversely, when others are feeling fearful and selling assets at depressed prices, it presents an opportunity for investors to be greedy and buy quality companies at attractive valuations. His strategy is to identify undervalued, high-quality businesses and purchase them when others are panicking, rather than chasing overpriced, trendy investments. Talking about high-quality companies, let's get into the next rule. Before we dive into the top three essential rules that every investor should know according to Warren Buffett, 
If you appreciate this type of content and are eager to learn more about investing or finance in general, please consider subscribing to our channel. We regularly post videos on these topics that you don't want to miss. Also, if you have enjoyed this content or found it valuable, please like this video to show your support. Thank you to everyone who does and now let's get to the exciting part. The third golden rule in Warren Buffett's investing strategy is to buy quality companies at a fair price, not fair companies at a quality price. However, this value investing mentality was not adopted from the beginning of his investment career. Indeed, it was with the knowledge of his mentor Benjamin Graham during his university years combined with his long-term business partner Charlie Munger that his mentality changed over time. He also mentioned that he preferred to analyse a stock for a potential investment without even looking at its price beforehand, so that he won't be influenced by the price and can make a wiser choice. You shouldn't buy stocks unless you expect, in my view, you, you expect to hold them for a very extended period and you are prepared financially and psychologically to hold them the same way you would hold a farm and never look at a quote. You don't need to pay attention to them. Warren Buffett often says don't hold a stock for 10 minutes unless you're willing to hold it for 10 years. This mindset encourages investors to think long term and focus on the intrinsic value of a company rather than short-term market fluctuations. Investing with a 10-year horizon means that you need to be psychologically and financially prepared to hold a stock the same way you would hold a farm and never look at the quote. Now, the two most last but not least most important rules for Warren Buffett are the following ones. The first rule on investment is don't lose. And the second rule on investment is don't forget the first rule. And that's all the rules there are. I mean, that uh, if you buy things for far below what they're worth and you buy a group of them, you basically don't lose money. Again, Warren adopted these rules during his university years from his idol, Benjamin Graham. When you think about it, this rule summarizes all the possible rules that one can have concerning investing because it highlights the importance of capital preservation, risk management, long-term focus, emotional discipline, and much more. In essence, these rules encapsulate the core of Buffett's investment strategy and should be for any investors too. I hope you've learned anything from this video that can help you towards your personal investment, and if you're interested about the journey of Warren Buffett from birth till today, this video could interest you.